Hey, what's up guys? Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, so if you want to check anything out, it's all in the description. Uh, I do all the way code problems. I got a super long playlist of explanations, so if you want to check that, it's a playlist on my channel. I got, I don't even know, like 50 now. Uh, this one's called Peak Index in a Mountain Array. Let's call in Array A a mountain if the following properties hold. Uh, this one's super easy, a lot of dislikes. I don't really know why there's dislikes. Let me see. Oh yeah, people said that the solutions didn't work. Um, basically, a, a mountain means that the array has a length greater than 3, greater than or equal to 3, and then there exists some i, where a of i is going to be, so an element is going to be greater than the previous element and greater than the element afterwards. So basically how these arrays work um, is the array is basically sorted in the input, except for one element. One element is going to be greater than the element before and uh, greater than the element afterwards. Um, other than that, they're pretty much sorted. All of the elements beforehand are going to be, look, as you can see, this is going to be the input. It's going to be this uh, element's going to be less than the next element um, until we hit that mountain. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, and then after that, they're going to be greater than. So to do this, you could do a linear scan, which is one of the methods in the solution. You just do a linear scan until you find the mountain. Obviously, while the elements are all less than the next element, you just increment until you get to, until this loop breaks, and then you actually find the element where the mountain exists on. Uh, that's O of N, easy. And then you have binary search is the other one. We can implement that really quick. Um, all you have to do is, uh, ba this is just a basic binary search, and left equals zero, sorry about the noise too, is equal to right is equal to a um, dot length minus one, while left is less than right, just like all the other binary searches, uh, midpoint is equal to left plus right minus left divided by two, that's how you pick a midpoint in binary search, um, and then this is the condition. If a of midpoint is less then a of midpoint plus one, then that means we're still in the increasing area on the left side of the array. We're still increasing in value. So we want to find the mountain exactly. So we're going to do left equals midpoint plus one because we know that the midpoint is less than the element after it. So we're going to put left to at least the midpoint. If we set left to midpoint plus one, then that just means that um, there's a chance that we could break out of this condition when it happen. So you want to set left to midpoint plus one because otherwise, uh, and then otherwise you want to set right, this is like how the other binary search, to midpoint. So yeah, if we, the other, the other condition is that midpoint is greater than or equal to midpoint plus one. That means we at least found the mountain or we're decreasing in value now. So all that we're doing is we're doing the second form of binary search that we learned in the explore page and we're returning low after all of this because when we return low, low, I mean, sorry, left. I was just got mixed up because I saw this one. Um, left is going to be at the exact index that we want for the mountain because we're setting the left to midpoint plus one each time that we see this condition because we're still increasing in value and we want to find we want this condition to be a of midpoint plus one is greater than a of midpoint or a of, a of midpoint is greater than a of midpoint minus one we want left to be we want to hit that condition and return so when left gets to the correct index right will also be at the correct index we'll break out of this i'm pretty sure you could return right and it would work too um, they'll both just get set to the perfect index, so that's pretty much it. Just a standard binary search thing. Sorry about the noise. There's a lot of people around me. I'm in the library, um, but it's a really easy problem, so hopefully you guys understand it. Uh, people are mad. They said that it didn't work, but it works fine for me. So uh, We'll just go on to new ones. Obviously not the best problem for interviews. I don't think that would come up, but thanks for watching, and check out the other solutions. See you guys.